Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, y'all doing y'all thing. All right. I, I do like I do like the content. All right. And what's the other thing? The drop was the Patreon. 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 The Patreon. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Give it a shout out. Let them know about the Patreon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's All another right. channel. I got a but new keep, channel. Keep he putting a, out that good content. Gotta tell him, he got a new channel. ATM Fox. ATM Fox. Follow All me right. on there. It's on YouTube. You're doing something positive. I appreciate you, sir. Y'all be good. Get their story. Stop exploring us. <laughs> Cash me what? Cash me doing what? Tap the police. Oh. Call them separate. Make sure nobody steals my purse. You're good. Not you. Hello. Bro. Hi. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good. Ma'am. <laughs> You're speaking with ATM <laughs> Fox. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. I'm here to give a voice to the voiceless. May I have your name? Me too. Jacqueline. Jacqueline? What? I got a lot of names. I am. Nice to meet you, Jacqueline. Nice to meet you. Daddy. <laughs> How old are you? Uh... I'm 37. All right, you look young for your age. Yeah, I still do. Yeah. Well, that's good, that's good. Where are you from? Uh, South Jersey. All right. Good area, bad area, what would you say? Good area, good All area. Right. I lived in raised? Florida for a while too. Say that again? I lived in Florida for a while too. Okay, okay. How were you raised? How was I raised? Yeah, like childhood growing up. Uh. Big family, my mom, papa, mom. Um, I got two little brothers, my okay. uncle. Um, a lot of cousins, aunts, uncles. Okay, okay. Was it happy? Mine was. <laughs> yeah, was it a happy household? Was you happy? Growing yeah, up? yeah. I mean, you know, holidays, birthdays, you know, was great. Um, everybody had their problems, but for the most part, you know, when it came down to it, you know, they're there. Pick a side. How did you end up out here, Kensington, Philadelphia? I followed a boy out here. I am not out here. Followed a guy? Yeah. Father of my children. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. How many kids? I have three girls. Wow. Yeah, it's three girls. And he's, is he from the same area as you, your, your boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, he grew uh, up in... Co to her. He grew up in Collingswood, New Jersey. Okay. What was that relationship like? Uh, young love. We were, uh, I met him in high school, at a high school dance. Right. And we were together um, 15 years. I admire you for staying focused for me. I'm, I'm sorry about, you know, people out here in Kensington it's trying right. to steal your interview. <laughs> It's all Crazy right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm used to it. That's why you see me. Look, I'm, you know, I'm always on like my toes out here. How long have you been out here? Ten years, on and off. Ah. Yeah. What, what would you say it's like? It's uh, it's a beautiful disaster. Mm. Why you say that? Cause um. You know, I've I've had some really like great times out here. Uh -huh. Met some really awesome people. Right. But you know, it's uh, it's all it's sad. It's tr like it's traumatic. It's uh, devastating. Like it's 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 cr kind of it's kind of like crazy when you think about it. Like mm -hmm. it's like um, the land of misfits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is where everybody comes where they know like they're not going to be um for the most part uh you know turned away you know what I mean? like you know what i mean mm -hmm. i mean you probably don't because you're normal but <laughs> I, i've heard it before you know as far as the great times what's so great about you know spending time out here um like just Music. Finding like a good like friendship, you know what I mean? Like um, connecting with somebody or, or okay. you know, some people that come down to help, yeah. you know, like you're, some people like could save your life, like right. just with a hello, right. you know what I mean? Or 
just like a, a handshake or a hug could change your whole day. You yeah, know? even though this neighborhood is like, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, seems like grimy. Somewhat. Yes, yes, extremely. You still have a sense of humor. And like you, when I walked up to you and I met you, you were laughing. You were just playful. Yeah, I admire that. I like that about you. Thank but you. But anyways, um, what's your living arrangements like? Um, I'm like, I just float right now. Mm -hmm. And like, that's solely like my fault. You know what I mean? Like, I guess I, not that I choose it, but I do choose it. It's a choice every day because I could choose to leave. But, uh, it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of like, um, like we're enabled to stay out here, you know, like even though people want to help, they pull up and they're like, you know, here's some blankets, here's some clothes, here's some food, here's some money, you know, it's okay. Like stay, <laughs> you know? But, um, people so. came out here and gave you some things today. Um, yeah. no, not oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm but sorry. Actually. Yes. I got a blanket and some, um, gloves and uh, a hat. So yeah, actually. You feel as though they were enabling you. No, I mean, not just that, right? like, cause it's coming from a good spot, right. but it makes it comfortable. It makes, yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, it makes it. Yeah, right, so that's you why can. you walk and you see people just laying on the sidewalk. Like, you know what I mean? Like we, nobody's got incentive. There's no, uh, no they don't have any goals, nothing to look forward right. to. It's just like, oh, you know, here's the drugs. You know what I mean? Like, like you see, you walk down the street and, hey, we got this, we got that. You want a sample? Here's some for free. Yeah, I hate hearing that when I walk down the street. Right, <laughs> you know what I mean? I know they trying to, I guess, sell their drugs, but come on, man. Do I look like a, well, but anyways. It's, yeah, it's like. I could play devil's advocate and see it from both sides, you know, like yeah. a lot of some people don't have a choice and that's the only way they can make money. And then mm -hmm. it's it's just I don't know. It's crazy. You speak of the drug use out here. Um, what, what drugs are you? I thought that was money. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what drugs are you currently addicted to? <laughs> uh, man. I could be addicted to anything, I, like honestly. Um, but right now, like I have issues with um, fentanyl, cocaine. Um, I don't think marijuana is an issue, so I don't really say that. But it's it's mostly the the heroin. Right. You know. I've tried to get off it several times, but. Uh, I don't know. I think like the rehab system and everything is like they all work together. You know what I mean? It's all about money. So it's all about money scheme. people. Yeah, it's all about keeping people sick. You know, and because I mean, if if it's not the heroin, then it's the suboxone. If it's not the suboxone, then it's the methadone. You know, it's it's always something. As far as money, is it hard for you to get out here? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. How are you managing to obtain it? Um, I mean, I do whatever I need to to survive, but uh, you know, like, like I boost. Um, I do work. Like, I'll I ask. I'm not shy. Like, I ask anybody. Like, I'll mop your floors. I'll I'll fold clothes. I'll clean your house. I'll whatever. Like, you know what I mean? I just I just can't curl up in a ball and just like give up. Like, I can't do that. Is it a hassle chasing that dragon? Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't. I'm not even allowed to talk to my kids. Say that again. Sorry. Yeah. It'll be all right. So, uh, in any relationship you have, you know, you can't be trusted. Even though I've never stolen from my family or or anything like that, I've only just hurt myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
it's easier to turn their back on me. So they don't want to deal with it. So. You have some clean time under your belt, though? A little bit, here and there. All right. I just got to get out of here. Yeah. Like every time I leave here, I do great. I you like know? It, all right. Every time you leave, you do great. Yeah. What was it like last time you left? I got clean. I had no choice because <laughs> I wasn't around here. But I was with some um, really good friends that I met. And uh, I actually miss them a lot. Are they still sober? Yeah. Yeah. I was traveling with them and stuff, and uh, and then I came back. I had like I don't know I don't know what what I haven't figured out what it is yet that like clicks in me to make me want to do this because I mean it's it's um it's insane you know to hurt yourself continuously on a daily basis. Well. At least you recognize the circumstances and you know you got to get up out of here. At least you're, you're sane enough to know what's going on. And you can. You will. I, I can see it in you. You will. You will. The biggest thing that, like, if I could, like, suggest for, like, a family or something, don't just give up. Like, show up. Mm -hmm. Pull up. Tell them. Get in the car. You know, uh... Let's try again, like, you know, don't forget I love you. You ever had anybody do that? Any support like that? None of your family members ever tried to come out here? And, and just pick me up? Get you up off the streets at least? Talk to you? And don't come I would check. show up there and then I would just get um, told, you know, how like shitty I am and then I leave. Because I guess I'm not strong enough or whatever to do it on my own. But I need help. You know? And rehabs, I, I, they're ass backwards. They, they want to sit you in a room for hours at a time talking about all the shitty things you did while you were on drugs. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, that's not that's No, not it's, really it's not at productive all. at all. <laughs> and so, like if if I could like run something, I, I would like come up with like, um, you know, getting sober on a boat somewhere. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? Where you have no choice. What what made you fall that day? What made you turn back to the drugs? You say you was clean, and you know, you know what crinkled your mind to go. Like I guess I don't know how to um, deal with things. Without it, I or some I don't know. I'm not sure. It might have been something you was going through that day. Yeah. And something like an emotional or something like that. that made or even if I'm you. having a great time, <laughs> you know. And then it's like okay. I feel like all right, let's party. You know let's what I mean? Party. It's it's like it's definitely mental. It's all in your head. It's one little thing. If you're around somebody that you know you used to get high with, it's like oh man. Or, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's something definitely mental though, right. for sure. Because once that physical pain's gone, the only thing that messes you up is yourself, is your own mind. What were you into while you were clean? Uh, I, I'm a writer. You're a writer? Um, I like to dance. I'm real creative. I love music. Okay. You know, like... I'd rather be blind than deaf if I, you know what I mean? If I never heard music again, that would be it for me. Um, What's your favorite song, favorite artist? Oh, man. Right now, I know it's an old one, but wow. it's, it's uh, Young Thug again. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been vibing to lately. What song? Uh, it's called Again. Oh, it's called Again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you haven't heard it, I suggest you listen to it. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation. Yeah, <laughs> but that's just one. But, um, oh, and I love Little Baby right now. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, you know. Where you see yourself in the next five years? I know you see yourself clean, right? I definitely see myself clean, yeah. Yourself clean. Yeah. 
and uh, I just want to have something of my own for like my own place. You know what I mean? Have my own. I've never had my own bedroom. What? Yeah. You need that luxury. It feels <laughs> so good. That privacy. Yeah, you know. I just. It's all. I just want that so bad. <laughs> you deserve it. Definitely do. Have you ever, I mean, what's the craziest thing you've seen out here in these streets of Kensington? Crazy. <laughs> uh, the craziest thing I've seen? Yeah. It's pretty funny, but uh, the cops were chasing this one dude, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and he totally just got away from them, came around the corner, sat down with a bunch of other people, threw a blanket over top of them, and they were going crazy looking for this guy. They couldn't find him. And he's sitting right there, right in front of him. Like, Everybody else is quiet. <laughs> yeah, huh? they're they like, was... yeah, they're cheering <laughs> him on. <laughs> wow. It's yeah. so hard for the cops these days. They yeah, it's, it's a sin, but some of them, you know, they need to get their shit straight. <laughs> yeah. Man. Well, hey, that's a funny story. I knew you was funny. You yeah. Were super funny. You always laugh. <laughs> I just try to stay away from all that other crap, you know? Mm -hmm. I. I I treat people how I want to be treated, so like, okay. you know, but you got to kind of have a thick skin out here. So that's I why I said that. when they were messing with your friend, I, I, oh, I yeah, wasn't yeah, letting that happen. Definitely did. <laughs> I was, that's why I turned definitely around. Did. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little marshmallow of a bitch anyway. <laughs> hey, yo, I ain't never laughed this much. <laughs> She'll be <laughs> out here for the next 20 years. <laughs> if you can make three wishes right now, what would they be? Um, for every child to be loved, um, for nobody to go hungry, and uh, and to have just just everybody just be nice and be kind, you know, help one another. Right. The world will be so much better. Kindness goes so far. <laughs> So. You, you think if anybody was to see this that know you, you think they, you know, come out here and try to help you or at least send support in some form? I pray or? they would. They remember me. Because I'm still the same person. Mm -hmm. You are. You know? You're not changed. This became normal to me. <laughs> I don't like it. That's why I isolate myself. <laughs> But uh, I just miss my girls and my uncle. My uncle Wes, he's real important to me. So. Well, Jacqueline. Sorry, I'm, I'm an emotional person. No, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. But I'm uh, glad you was able to vent. Yeah, um, it actually feels good. <laughs> I feel like it was fate, it was God. Is the reason you know yeah. I walked into you today? Yeah. Speaking of the Lord, are you religious at all? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I have no idea. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, he said something. Um, I don't even know what he said. Um, I, I'm very spiritual. Okay. Extremely. Yes. Um, but I, you know, I definitely need to get back into, like, maybe going to church once in a while or. Just something, something to help my spirit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got some loved ones that miss you out there, Jackie. Yeah, I know I do. And I see the potential in you. You're going to beat this. You're going to get up out of Kensington, and you're going to be clean sooner than later. I'll be praying for you, Jackie. That. It's ATM Fox. I make these videos for educational purposes only. You've been a wonderful interviewee for me. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, y'all too. Be safe out here. <laughs>